fucking too hot for this shit. So here we are again, on another walk, another adventure, another journey. Uh, gonna see what we can find, you know, see if there's anything interesting. Uh, probably won't be anything interesting, but we'll see. Never ends. This wood never ends. If you go missing in this wood, whew, good luck getting out. You have to be a survival expert to really know your way around these woods. So the uh, last time we went for one of these walks, not much happened, but I promise you, I swear to God, that this walk is going to be the most exciting, breathtaking, tremendous walk that you've ever not been on, because I'm walking, and you're watching. Well, hopefully someone's watching. So we've got a steep pathway here, it goes all the way down there and I was thinking it would be good if I had a BMX right now I don't have a BMX but we're gonna ride down it anyway so are you ready, here we go, we're gonna ride, take a ride down the BMX track as I like to call it Whoop. there's a jump there you've got to be careful on these sharp corners because you could easily go off the track and uh, oh, another sharp corner and uh we're almost at the bottom. Oh, whoa, Jesus! A jump! Oh. Ah, we're basically at the bottom. So, yeah, that was the uh, BMX track. Okay, so we found the golf course. And we're not supposed to be here, but we're gonna go take a look, see if we can see anyone playing golf. So, there's definitely someone playing golf. Just there. Oh no, he hasn't. He's taking a shot. That's the same fucking squirrel from the last walk. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What are you looking at, buddy? Bring it on. So here we are. The Owa River. The most beautiful tourist attraction in the world. And just over there, that's, uh, that's Magaluf. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I don't think this is safe. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh thank, thank God. Okay, so, so far, we haven't really found anything. Anything exciting. Uh, there's that woman again playing golf. So here we are at one of the very first McDonald's in the country. This is the very first, it's a 1604 McDonald's. Obviously no longer in use. Can't really see anything in this uh, abandoned McDonald's. But we're gonna look around it. And uh, here would be the drive through People would come past in their horse and cart, order their meal, they'd obviously wait. You'd have chicken nuggets, two portions of chicken nuggets please, they'd pass them through, you'd eat your nuggets, and over here is what's left of the children's play area. <laughs> obviously it's all gone now, but the parents would sit here, eat their chicken nuggets, the kids would play with the horses and that was McDonald's, 1605. So we found the first McDonald's and uh, if we look just over here we'll find the very first Wimpy's. Now Wimpy's came to the UK in 1607 and was direct competition with McDonald's. That's why they moved right here you see so they could just attract their customers. Back in the day, you would have customers pull up for the drive through and Wimpy's colleagues would stand on the top here and shout horrible remarks like, McDonald's is rubbish, etc, etc. And then obviously they would come here to this drive through instead and they would order, you know, a big Wimpy. Found them again. There she is. There's her butt. 
the husband's just over there and uh, look at that look at that she still hasn't hit a hole in one yet but nice swing nice very nice well it's a nice day decided to take the shirt off <laughs> In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. So this walk continues, and uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be finding anything interesting. I could stand here filming this for about five minutes or more and that would be an art film film school 101 all right so we could cross here it looks hard but we'll find a way it's not it would just jump and we could venture on up there but we're gonna leave that for the walk number three we're venturing off into the unknown things could get dangerous here I don't know if you can work that out, but there's a table underneath this tree. And uh, yeah, no one's around. Why is there a table? Let's see if we can find out. Table's there. There's a swing here. Things are getting a bit more crazy in here. As you can see, this is just a big tree, kind of hollowed out. But as you go beneath the tree, things get a little bit weird. There's rubbish. Perhaps some, someone homeless. And a, a huge man-made shelter of some kind. A hole in the ground. Perhaps the fires on the floor found you. Talk about Blair Witch Project. I don't really want to touch it just in case I get cursed, but there's some kind of dangling ornament, possibly a coat hanger of some kind. We will be back. Don't be here. Well, I found this hat laying next to the body of a, a dead clown. Uh, it doesn't really suit me, so I'm not gonna keep it, but um, we're back out now. And let's see if we can find something interesting. Just take a look around. It's very peaceful out here. You can just chill out for as long as you want. Have a great time. Have a picnic with the family if you have one. It's up to you, but I'm just going to sit here for a moment and just take it all in. So I've stopped for a snack. I'm having Doritos. Tangy cheese flavor. And I've always wondered, should they be called Doritos? I love tangy cheese Doritos. Just want to give a quick shout out to my number one fan, Matt Catlin. Thanks for all the support, buddy. So we've managed to find Robin Williams. I call this double chid cab. Okay, so we're back at the bench where the journey ends. Okay, so we're on the bench where it all ends. It's been a nice walk for me. Hopefully it's been a nice walk for you too. Uh, yeah, well thanks for coming along.